Our first guest tonight is a producer and Emmy award-winning actor you know from shows such as This Is Us, an American Crime Story, and films like Waves and Black Panther. He just received his first Academy Award nomination for his role as Cliff in American Fiction, which is in theaters now. Please welcome back to the show our friend Sterling K. Brown, everybody. <laughs> What's up, buddy? I've grown accustomed to having you come on and introducing you as a, an Emmy Award winning actor. Sure. But Academy Award nominated, it's a nice ring to it. It's not terrible. It's not. I, it's pretty I good. dig it. It's pretty good. Cool. It's pretty good. We were talking backstage. It's yeah. very exciting. When you get nominated for one of these awards, there's a ton of events. Yeah. Uh, not just the press tour, but also you get to hang out with the other nominees, and it's a pretty good bunch. This is very true. I got a chance to hang out. She wasn't nominated this year for an Academy Award, but she was nominated for an Emmy. Uh, Meryl Streep. Yes. We were at this. Yeah. Yeah. That's the right. That's the right thing. <laughs> right, because yes. if you know anything about me, I'm a big Streep fan. Yeah. And she saw American Fiction, and she told me how much she enjoyed my work, and she kissed me. Yeah. She she kissed me like right there, and my wife saw it, so it's legit. Like it's not a thing. Yeah. But it, it's also a thing. Does it bother <laughs> you at all? Does it bother you at all knowing that if she hadn't seen it and yeah. was just lying to you, you wouldn't be able to tell because she's so good? No, as long as I wound up with the kiss. <laughs> yeah, that's all the I really care about. The kiss was real. That's it. That's, that's good. It. Have, you, uh, have you tried to get any uh, friends and family to start referring to you as the Academy Award nominated? Not okay. just yet. Yeah. My son, so I got nominated for a few things before. I got nominated for a SAG Award, what have you, and my son, Loves to sort of take the crap out of me, yeah. right? And he's like, what is this like? How old? What do we got? He's 12. Yeah, that's the take he's, a crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, what's that, the stupid ass gorilla award? That's okay, like gotcha. SAG yep. sort of thing. SAG, you got to be honest, was asking for it. There you yeah. go. There you go. So I was like, yeah, whatever. So then I showed him, I was like, hey, you know, I got nominated for an Oscar. You know, he goes, oh, yeah, is that what? Uh... <laughs> too many letters. And then he was like, <laughs> congrats, Dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. It was no, cool. It was cool. You share this on social media. You had a real, you know, in the end of the day, uh, yes, you're an actor, but yeah. uh, based on how you found out, you are a dad first, and I, I found that very endearing. Because everybody always said, how did you find out? And yeah. the way you found out is more in line with my life as a dad than totally. certainly my life as a dad. Because you have actor. younger, you 752. I fell asleep in the bedroom with him. I had my phone on. The phone died. I woke up in the middle of the night, got off the floor, went to my bed with my wife, which is where I'm supposed to sleep. I charge my phone, I wake up in the morning, I go start feeding them breakfast, I go pick up the phone, there's now 126 text messages, <laughs> and I'm like, why am I, 120, it's seven in the morning! Because I got nominated for an Academy Award. There you go. <laughs> now, based on that, like going into the, you know, when you went to bed that night, yeah. like, what, what, was your, what was your thinking? I mean, obviously some people had said this was possible, but uh, were some you? Some said it was possible. I, I did not think it was. OK. I thought that there was going to be other people who were going to be nominated, and I would have been more than happy to congratulate them and wish them well. A young man from The Holdovers and from uh, May, December, yep. and for other things, right? Uh, Willem Dafoe, et cetera. So I was like, you know what? If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I was not going to sweat it one way or the other. I was pleasantly surprised. It's a very nice thing to be pleasant. Seth, I'm still, I feel like a baby in this industry. And when I see all the people who I got nominated along with, I'm just like honored to be a part of the group. That's it is a very nice thing, and it's very well deserved. Thank You're you. wonderful in the film. Your uh, wife is also an actor. She is. And she's been nominated uh, for some things in the ah, past ah. as well. And this, I was going to ask about uh, who's your plus one at the Academy Awards. I assumed it would be her. So this is OK. My wife was the first person ever nominated for something in our, in our couple. She was a series regular on Boston Legal, and she got nominated for Best Ensemble for Screen Actors Guild Award. Or, you know, Stupid Ass Gorilla. <laughs> and uh, I was like, oh, man, we get to go to the SAG Awards? It's going to be so much fun to get to And she's like, actually, Sterling, like, I think I should probably take my manager, because there's a good networking opportunity for me. And I was like, oh, cool, cool, cool. I, I got it. No problem. <laughs> That's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so then things like, you know, a few years later start happening for your boy. And she's like, oh my God, we get to go to the Emmys? And I was like, we? <laughs> <I'll>... <laughs> <laughs> I 
this is a very, a very <laughs> useful lesson totally. uh, about a married couple. And I should say, uh, you and your wife obviously have a nice perspective on this, and you're also starting a podcast together. We are. Uh, and this is uh, uh, launching on Valentine's Day. Launching on Valentine's Day. It's called uh, We Don't Always Agree. Okay. With Ryan and Sterling. We've been married for 18 years, and you guys know if you've been that, together that long, you don't always agree, but you figure a way to make it out. And it's, it's, we had a, so much fun. We're doing 12 episodes. Hopefully, people are enjoying them. We'll do a season two. Now, I would ask this. Is it when you talk to uh, your wife about how you don't agree? Yeah. I would imagine knowing that other people are going to hear it, yeah. it makes it the best versions of yourself. No. Like, if my wife, oh, oh, interesting. <laughs> no, what, well, what I want is full accountability. Because my wife will say crazy things when we're by ourselves. Yes. I was like, say that <laughs> right now. Yeah. So that everybody can hear it, yeah. and then we'll find out who's crazy. I mean, <laughs> Ed, when I couldn't agree with you more. <laughs> when my wife and I are fighting, the amount I want to be like, you know what? Let's do it as a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take it out in the streets. Let's, Let's take it out in the streets. Yeah. We'll Play get that. some sponsors. There you and, go. Yeah. Um, I have a lot more to ask you. Will you, you stick around, yes, you guys? Sir. That's Sterling. More after this.